All right, you guys. So you can see that we just got a delivery in here at Scooter City Reno. Sponsored by ScooterATBSales.com. If you guys order online, it is a little less. But of course, you're going to have to set these up. Assemble them yourself. This is the Commander 200. Those of you that are curious what it looks like in the crate, this is the way it would arrive to you. Generally with liftgate service, partial assemblies required. Here's the RXR right over here. 110 by Batassi. This is what you can expect. We already removed the cardboard box over it. So this is what you can expect. Again, partial assembly required and generally instructions are not included. Always keep that in mind, you guys. So when you do order online, this is what you can expect. Again, partial assembly required. Oh, I always stress that when ordering online. And instructions are not included. So you just have to remove everything. Dig out all your parts and your hardware, lay it out in an organized fashion, and start having some fun with it. Okay, so we removed that cardboard box. Also removed the steel crate. A little walk around so you guys can get a glimpse of the process over here. So got the wheels out, start removing the parts, organized the hardware here on the table. Usually best to lay out a table or some work area here. You can nicely organize all your parts, your hardware. And uh, tire here, rest of the wheels over there. Sometimes you uh, have to uh, bead, bead blast these. They're hard to seat. Always keep that in mind as well. Okay, you guys, so you can see how we're progressing. Got all the hardware, the parts, the wheels, tires, everything removed bubble wrap that was around the handlebar area so this is what you can expect the apollo commander 200 chinese atv good quality part of the rfz lineup just like their rfz lineup dirt bikes so I mentioned with the uh the tires wheels you guys check it out here sometimes you have to use a bead blaster so we're ready to put some air in there and you can see it has uh right up over here you could see the 24 psi to seat the tire then bring them back down to they are saying right here is the recommended as you can see up here we get up up close here you can bring them down to about 10 psi for operation so check these out you guys uh, keep in mind sometimes you have to use a bead blaster or just take it down to your local tire shop so you can get them get the proper uh, beading on these here so this is where we're at right now the apollo commander 200 hey you guys check it out now this is where we're at right now we have adam here today what's up adam Hi guys. he's doing the assembly pdi process over here you guys saw earlier what it looked like when it arrived in the crate the box the cardboard box on top of it i broke it down opened it up removed all the parts and different hardware this is what it's starting to look like you guys you can see he just got done mounting the rear wheels and we got the front uh, wheels right now getting ready to be mounted Walk around here, see so he has it on the jacks. Uh, we usually do it on the lift right now, but we're doing it right now with jacks on the floor here. I did have to help him lift it off of the base crate. So keep that in mind, you need somebody strong or just have a, some sort of lift around when you do this. So this is where we're at right now. We're getting close to the finishing product and I'll uh, catch up with you guys a little bit later. So you guys have a good grasp on what's going on. Doing the PDI on the Apollo Commander 200. All right, you guys, so we're here at the final ending over here of the Apollo Commander 200. Adam just completed the full assembly. You guys saw it from the box to breaking down all the hardware. This is the finished product, as you can see. It's all ready to go. And we're running it for a little while right now just to break it in. You should do that all, at all times. So always make sure you check all the fluids, check the oil before you start it up. Go ahead, Adam, start her up. Okay, guys, well, I did show you on prior videos, and I'll put a link above regarding how to adjust the idle, pulling off that uh, cover cap on the idle screw of the carburetor. Check out that video so you guys know how to adjust the idle, as well as how to adjust your clock as well, and then change the speedo into, so right now it says kilometers, that's the way it shows up stock, and then change that over to miles per hour, you guys. So check out that video as well instructional video how to do both You're adjusting the idle as well as adjusting the uh, speedo gauge over here turning it from kilometers to miles per hour as well as adjusting your clock all 
All right, you guys, ScooterATVSales.com. I could drop ship one of these to you nationwide. Partial assembly required as shown. We'll see you guys soon.